Hi guys, hi, 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 how are you, how are you doing? Um, my name is Eva, if you're new here or if you don't know me, I'm Eva. Um, and today I wanted to share about living in our truth. And um, which truth am I talking about? This is the truth, which is the word of God, which is the scripture that is the scriptures that are spirit filled that were inspired by God and living out the truth is simply and basically allowing the word of God to rule over your life, to govern your life, to transform your life. And um, yeah, that's, that's basically what I wanted to share today. And um we, we we have a mandate we have a mandate each and every one of us um, as Christians and as God's children to represent God wherever we are in whatever we are doing um, our actions our thoughts our everything about us need to represent God in our life need to reflect who God is and I'm just like I'm just thinking of like a story you know um we can have a a a, a couple here and um uh, well we have the husband and the wife and we have the husband maybe is violent um in 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 the relationship or in the marriage um but that happens at home it doesn't happen outside nobody knows about this and then uh, when we go outside or in your other life you are maybe a preacher you are maybe um um a leader and uh, you have this other image that you portray outside there but when you come to your home you're violent to your kids or your wife um you don't and you're a Christian and you say you're a Christian and you go to church and you believe in God but you're not living out the truth of the word of God um another example maybe as a lady um maybe you're adulterous i don't know um you're in a marriage uh, but you're cheating and you you know you're out there um you're not respecting the institution of marriage but um well nobody knows your husband may not know um yeah so basically living out the truth let us allow the word of God to transform our lives. Let us allow the word of God to change how we live our life. That even when we are in the open, even when we are alone, when no one is looking at us, when we are in our homes, when we are in bed, let us live out the truth each and every time. And this truth is the word of God. Let us reflect the word of God. Let the word of God to change us. You know, sometimes we we we, we praise God and we, we acknowledge the presence presence of God and we acknowledge we have believed in in salvation we have accepted salvation and we believe in God uh, but our actions or we are not allowing the word of God to change us so example you might be uh, you believe in God you have accepted uh, salvation but um you're still lying and you know that lying is wrong or you're still stealing and you know stealing is wrong um, I'm just using like very simple examples. Um, well, but the word of God tells us on the other hand, do not steal, you know, um, do not lead others astray. Um, allow the word of God to like fill us, allow the word of God to train us, to equip us to discipline us, to correct us wherever we are wrong. So we have believed in the gift of salvation. We have believed, we believe in Jesus Christ, you know, believe he died for us, for our sins, and we have been saved. Now our work is to live out each day, to live each day with that truth, knowing that we have been saved by Jesus Christ. And this truth is the word of God that is that leads us, that guides us, that instructs us, that tells us, that shows us, in, that shows us the way in which we should go. So we may have challenges that we are going through. Maybe you're struggling with lying. Maybe. Maybe you're struggling with stealing. Maybe you're struggling with an addiction. Maybe you're struggling with um, fornication or, you know, something. But once you come to the realization that um, 
I'm saying I am a liar, I am a thief, I am a fornicator, um, you know, and any other thing that you can think of. We have come to that realization and we know that the Bible tells us this and this and this. And we know in our hearts and we have that conviction that we are not living out the truth as Jesus, as God commands us to. Then once you read the word, let us be open to allow the word of God to change us. Let us try each and every day to amend our ways, you know. I'm thinking of an example of, let's say you are a drug addict and you're really struggling with um, maybe cigarettes and you're smoking and you cannot smoke. Um, not unless, and I, I know this for sure, that you might, you realize that smoking is bad for you and you're not supposed to be smoking and you want to change, but you're an addict. But you can be sure that if you're an addict today, tomorrow you are not sober. I mean, you have to gradually make some steps in order to stop that habit of, you know, smoking or drinking or whatever. So you might have been taking maybe five, five cigarettes a day. So tomorrow you decide, OK, I'll take four cigarettes the next day, three cigarettes the other day, two cigarettes. Of course, it may not happen like in a week, but gradually, you know, you start winning off of the things that were addicting that were are addicting us. Um, because I know transformation, not unless it is by the miraculous power of God that one day you're like this and tomorrow you're not addicted. I know there's, there's a gradual process that needs to take place. You have to win. You have to win yourself off of some things slowly and gradually. And so, um, having that conviction in our minds, having, knowing that, knowing that the Bible is the truth and uh, knowing that we struggle with some issues and we are not perfect. Of course, we are not perfect. Then let us allow the word of God to change us gradually, slowly and slowly and slowly. So if you are um, struggling with um, an addiction, um, Tomorrow, you reduce the amounts that you're using, the following day, the following week, the other month. By the end of it all, then you're done. So if you're struggling with lying, then day by day, try to like be careful with the words that you say. Be careful with the decisions that you're making or what you're telling people. Like now, let it be a gradual process. Um because some people, if it is lying, some people don't even realize that they are lying. It is it, they are they are so used to it that they realize that they are they they have no idea how how deep it is in their life. So start, let it win off. You know, slowly by slowly, allow you know every day be mindful of what you say, be mindful of um, what triggers you to lie and things like that. And at the end, and all understanding by reading the Bible and allowing God to transform you and being open, being open to being corrected, being being open to be disciplined, being open to be trained. Slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, we will live out the truth each and every day and in all aspects of our lives. So let us live out the truth. Let us live out the truth with what we say, the things that we say to people, the things we say to ourselves. Let us be people who speak life to people. Let us not be people who are, 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 are speak, speak evil things or do not encourage people or whatever we, whatever we speak just ends up discouraging people. No, let us speak life into the lives of people. Let us, um, um, let us every day, the actions that we do, may they glorify God, you know, sit back and, you know, like reflect on everything that you did yesterday. Just think about everything that you did yesterday. Um, you know, was it the right thing? Was it the wrong thing? How were your interactions with people? Did you say something that might have hurt somebody? Did you do something that was wrong? And you have to be really, really honest with yourself because when you're honest with yourself, when you get to a point where Eva um, you did this and this is not right and you have to change. When you get to that point where you're honest with yourself, then you're able to present yourself as an open book. You're able to present yourself as a living sacrifice to Jesus Christ and say, God, God, help me. I have failed in this and this and this, and I need your help in sorting these things out. And trust you me, God will come through for you. God will come through for you. 
and slowly by slowly you become convicted of things that um you 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 wrong things that you have done you become convicted of the things that you say and you you find yourself just being careful of what you say you find yourself being very intentional in your actions in 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 your thoughts in your in your in your words you become very very intentional so let us be honest with ourselves let us take a minute and just reflect on how we live our lives how how is eva uh i'm seeing my mom joining us i'm seeing uh john paul kiminda you know let us let us just reflect and see what did we do yesterday is there something that we that we did yesterday is 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 there something that we said yesterday could it be that thing hurt somebody you know things like that let us reflect and once we are honest with ourselves then we are able to present ourselves to god and tell god god help me to change this i don't like this about my life but i want you to change how i live my life i want you to change this character of mine that i don't like let us be free let us be vulnerable with ourselves and by doing that by being honest with ourselves by laying ourselves bare and knowing that i have done the wrong thing i need to change this and then present yourself to god the way you are and tell god god i need you help me come through for me trust you me god will come through for me come through for you and gradually slowly by slowly every single day of your life you will live out the truth in the name of jesus your life will be a testimony your life will reflect who god is your life will reflect um who jesus christ is with the words that you say with your actions with your thoughts and your life will be a testimony and you will be a blessing to other people so i pray that every one of you who will get a chance to watch this and to hear this that you allow god to 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 change you allow god to transform you allow the truth of the word of god allow the truth to change you let's reflect on ourselves let's reflect on 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 our actions and uh be vulnerable be open and let us allow the word of god to change us I hope that you're blessed. I wish you all a wonderful day. Um uh Kiminda, thank you for joining us. Um I wish you a blessed day. Mom, thank you for joining us. I know it's almost bedtime for you. <laughs> so have a good night. Um yeah. So mom, do you want to join us? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if she will join um this live. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for joining us um oh i don't know it might take some time she hasn't joined yet so anyway thank you thank you thank you thank you let us live out the truth of jesus christ in our lives be blessed guys be blessed be blessed be blessed um Mom, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Um Adin, I don't know, have you received a notification on like joining? Um, um Okay. All right. Um let me finish this. I wish you all a lovely day, a blessed day. Stay safe. Uh, God is with you. May God protect you. May God preserve you in all that you do. May you live out the truth of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of his name. Be blessed. Bye-bye.